All right. <laughs> If somebody's going around tipping you and murdering people, though, you could put them down. I guess that's the moral of the story. Like, we have to have a line as a species where it's like, all right, that one's a bad one. Put them down. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tyler Haas. Today I'm going to be drinking a craft, telling you a story. So let's see what we're drinking today. A nice little Mayflower, three ninety nine. It's a double IPA, so I feel the boys are cooking up some double trouble over there. Cheers. All right, not really the the bitter hoppiness that you expect out of a double. It tastes pretty juicy for an eight uh, <laughs> percent. That's pretty good. This is this is gonna get fun. All right, so it looks like looks like this is out of Plymouth, coming out of Mass, I definitely appreciate something nice and local. Description just says hazy and juicy double Indian pale ale. So I mean, I definitely, definitely tasted the juice right out of there. One thing's for sure, it's juicy. <sighs> yeah, it's like juice. All right, so I'm gonna find out what story I'm gonna be telling you guys today. Ooh, sealed shut, real deal, dude. And the secrets you got. Looks like I'm gonna be telling you guys the story of uh, Jekyll and Hyde. Most of you already kind of know the story. You're like, oh yeah, no, that dude, dude acts one way one day, acts pretty different the other day. Oh, it's Jekyll and Hyde. No, the real story is fuck, dude. This doesn't happen around here these days. This something happened a long, long time. So back in like, I don't know, I want to say it was the 1800s, back in Scotland, and uh, there's this little village in Scotland. There's a pretty famous doctor there, and he goes by the name of Dr. Jekyll, right? Such so is. he's like on all those medical magazines and shit, they're like, yo, Dr. Jekyll's fucking tight, bro. He knows his medicine. He goes a little bit crazy one day. He's so good with medicine that he decides he wants to try something fucking crazy. So he's like, yo, the one thing that's holding me back from doing all my research is the fact that I have human urges. I get mad. I get violent. I don't want to be productive, I guess. <laughs> Dr. Jekyll's like, all right, I want, I want my bad stuff to be over somewhere else. I just want to be good. So Dr. Jekyll whips himself up a little potion, guzzles it down. He's like, damn, this shit good. <laughs> Chugs in, he's like, yo. I'm gonna sell this to the kids. Fuck lean, dude. Get some of my wizard juice. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so Dr. Jekyll. He gets down with this new potion. He makes it. The one that he's been looking for. So that the bad guy in him. It isn't really him. He was just looking to get away from responsibility. He's like, no, it wasn't me. So this potion makes him, he's chill during the day. Like, goes out to parties and shit. Still that rock star doctor. Got all sorts of friends in his town that are just like, yo, fucking Dr. Jekyll. Like, how'd you get so fucking tight at medicine? Word on the street was people were starting to wind up missing or beat up. People start getting a little, a little sketched out. They're like, ah, I don't know what's what's really good with all this. Like, why do people miss it, dude? <laughs> There's not that many of us. Like, <laughs> it's like maybe 20 of us, fucking three of us are missing. That's a fucking percentage now, dude. <laughs> you can't just say, oh, three people are missing. Yeah, like, <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> This new guy starts showing up around town. His name's Mr. Hyde. Mr. Hyde ain't a very nice dude. Just walks around fucking tippy Tuesday and people on fucking Wednesday. Dude's a dick. Doesn't respect the rules of the game and gets people hurt. So Mr. Hyde's walking around fucking smacking people in the cocks and the pussies. And they're all getting mad. They're like, yo, fuck this new guy. 
So you guys are a piece of shit. Who don't let Mr. Hyde into our town? Because he's just fucking tippy in all 18 of us. This shit ain't right, dude. <laughs> Somebody get the doctor. <laughs> so knock, knock, knock on Dr. Jekyll's fucking door. People start showing up and they're like, yo, dude, there's this lunatic in our town. I don't know what the fuck his deal is, but he seems to know you. And he's like, how you mean? <laughs> I don't know no Mr. Hyde. <laughs> so people are like, fuck you, you don't know Mr. Hyde. One of our boys saw him walking back into your house last night after he done tippy 13 of us. <laughs> I've never seen no Mr. Hyde in my house. <laughs> Fuck you, you ain't seen a Mr. Hyde. <laughs> we tracked him here, buddy. We got his boot prints. Funny thing is, they look a lot like yours, too. It's like, <laughs> wasn't me. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> and they're all pissed because they don't know what the fuck's going on. They're like, all right, that was definitely Dr. Jekyll that we just talked to. This is Mr. Hyde guy's a dick, but if Jekyll doesn't know him, fucking Jekyll doesn't know him. I don't know. Dude's a fucking doctor. <laughs> So, months go by, and shit escalates from people getting tippied to people getting fucking murdered. Some dude's found in his house, eh, some winter time. He goes in, fucking clubs this dude to death. I mean, he just takes, takes his cane, beats him to death. A lot of people see Mr. Hyde walking away. Angry mob ends up deciding they want to storm Dr. Jekyll's house. That's the only place that Mr. Hyde's been seen, except for in town. Tippy and people are killing people with canes and clubs and shit. So the angry mob shows up at his door, right? And they're like, yo, Jekyll, let us in. We know you know this dude. We saw him coming back here. He just killed our friend. Nobody answers the door. So they all bust down the door run in, just ready to kill somebody. They walk in, they see Dr. Jekyll is fucking dead. He cut his own dick off and choked himself. Everybody was like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, shit. This guy has some demons, bro, what? <laughs> Who the fuck dies like that? <laughs> Mayflower, baby. Three ninety nine, double IPA. It's just the bee's knees, guy. Oh, shit jazzes me up. Room Plymouth, baby. <laughs>